today I'm going to show you what semantics are and stuff. Um, so let's come over to this one here and we'll go, uh, whoops, here we go. So here are some data types and um, this is actually used for uh, the semantics. But um, semantics is looking at what data type we are working with and then what functionality can use that data type and then whichever one you choose what that uh, functionality then puts out so then that sets a new data type and then uh, that can define what we can do with it from there at this time this is not enforced but it does give us some pretty cool features um, it also means that we can do things like this we go more and we get much more information and we can go less and we get a much more compact uh, view of the information now if we go back you can see that this is the same whoops um, you can see that this is the same set of data it's just displayed in a different way um, conversely we can go like this and you can see the whole lot that is really where the benefit is at the moment. This, if I was to make everything use the semantics, we could do some really nice integrity checking and stuff in there. Um, at this point, there's a lot of work to get to that, so um, uh, I haven't done that yet. Um, probably realistically that's a while off yet. This is also relevant to what's coming in the next phase of Stuff Ratchel. Um, however, I'm simply not ready to uh, show you any of that yet. Uh, that's really what's going to happen. What I'm going to be working on when I finish uh, uh, doing all these videos. So uh, let's get on to actually programming with it because that's how you. Uh, so I can show you how to support it. Let's go over here and we're going to bring up the documentation. I'm actually going to follow this quite closely um, in working with this example simply because um, there's a little bit to it. And I would rather show you right first time than uh, mess it up and make it all confusing. Okay, so here we go. So I basically followed in the normal thing. I went to github.com, ksandom, actual, and then I went into packages available, semantics, and docs. Fine. I've just shown you sort of the, the user side of it. Um, the programming admin is sort of where um, it gets more interesting now. So let's quickly do that. Um, so first off, um, we want to actually go and uh, create our data types. Um, so, I'm going to run these manually, but uh, we'll, uh, actually, no, I'll, I'll explain that in a moment. So, we're going to create install data types for example.macro. Cool. Okay, so you'll notice here that I've um, created a uh, uh, I've, I've put in a hidden tag in here because we don't normally want to use it to be running this. So now we want something like this. So let's just go and put that in here. On define is something that you should use very sparingly. Um, this is code that um, when the macro has been created uh, this code will be executed. Uh, you need to use it sparingly for two reasons. Uh, the most important is that everything, every undefined that you have in there means that that is another piece of code that is being executed every time actual starts up. Uh, that is a waste of resources, so therefore it will make things slower. Uh, the second reason is that there is no enforcing that the prerequisites are in place um, for whatever it is you want to do and because it is as this has been defined that um, it will uh, it will be executed and there may still be other things which still need to be defined there is another event which does everything once it's completed I can't remember what that is off the top of my head Okay, so what we've just done here, this will actually just make sure that the uh, data types get created. That's fine. So now we want to go and create 
our data type. Now let's go and have a look at what the syntax is for that. Um, there it is. So what that is, is um, the type name. So let's uh, call it cat. Um, the default view, so this is the default template. I need to make that a bit more clear. Okay, and then we go uh, the more template, so that's going to be cat more. And then the less template, cat less. Um, action, we don't need to fill in. Um, that is normally, that defaults to template out, as you can see there. Uh, but we don't need to do that. So uh, now let's just give this a description. Um, our feline companions. There we go. We have a description. So now let's go and uh, do we want to create any other data types? No, I think that's going to be sufficient. So now let's go and create the corresponding feature type. Okay, so once again we want to go and define the undefined value and let's go and have a look at the help for that. So we want to do create feature type. Okay, so once again we want to go create feature true type. Okay, stop it, Chang. Okay, uh, just had to double check the microphone there. And once again, we want to go cat. And the in data type, uh, that's a really good point. So if we have a look at this uh, documentation here, um, notice here how we've got uh, generate data types. So here we actually want to call this uh, generate cat. Um, and so then we say uh, it doesn't take anything in because it's creating them. Um, it is of type cat. Am I right? Yes, um, it puts out type cat. And then um, we're going to say it uh, generates cats. Okay, um, now we might also want to create a different, a uh, couple of other feature types. So let's grab that and we're going to go yoink, yoink, boink. Um, and we're going to say, actually we're going to make two of those. Okay, so now we're going to say uh, cat and then this one goes here. So what these are doing, um, so this one here is, oh that just sounds so wrong. Um, <laughs> let's just let's just sanitize this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's uh, <laughs> cat results maybe. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, and um, this isn't a lot better. It takes cat inputs and gives anything <laughs> okay um, cool right so we have some we have some feature types and we have some data and we have some uh, yeah some data types that's fine so now let's go and have a look um, here if we go and run um, actual now normally this would happen when you go and uh, well actually no hang on oh, we can do this we can do this a fancy way manage actual uh, repo reinstall and we want to go mass experimentation what did I do wrong uh, so that is in feature type let's have a look at what I've done wrong here Okay, there we go. So, 
I put in an incorrect bit there. Let's just see if I did that in here. I didn't do it in that one. Okay, that's fine. So the important bit here is that I um, I missed the hash on there. Uh, manage actual does tend to break um, in some ways, hopefully not many, um, when you miss out the hash. So let's go and try this again. Okay, so that one didn't work. That's fine. So what did I actually type wrong there? Oh, okay, I completely miss... Uh, so I typed in the wrong thing, so that's why that didn't work. If I had done manage actual repo list, I would have been able to see what I should have been typing. In any case, if we now go actual list uh, data types, and we have cat, and if we do the same thing here and type in feature types and ah okay so um, if you have a look here notice that we've only got one entry and it is the last entry and the reason for that is I've given them all the same name so now let's fix that Uh, manipul oopsie daisy manipulate cat and we're going to say cat input um, oops so now let's try this try that there we go. Okay, so now if we go and list the features again, um, we have a much better list here. So we have uh, it, nothing creates cat, um, cat to cat, and then uh, cat to nothing. So I better go and create some uh, macros to demonstrate this working. Oh, well that's lovely. Um, I didn't actually put. Um, how to define that a macro is using this. So uh, let's, I'll just quickly look that up and then I will tell you. Alright, so I've got a note to add that to the documentation. Yes, yeah, so the last, the last step where we actually have to uh, uh, write a macro which will uh, use these semantics, uh, kind of an important step. Uh, so what are we going to make this do? We're going to make a few different macros here. So the first one we're going to make um, gives us some cats. So let's go and make cats macro. Um, yeah, now let's just do that. So makes some... Okay, apparently I can't type right at the moment make some cats and we're gonna give that a type cat example and we'll put in semantics in there as well okay so that's fine um, now we need to go and uh, whoops that's not what I wanted uh, we want to grab this Make cats. Make cats. And that needs to be of type generate cat. Bother. There we go. Um, let's just get this out of the way now because we don't need that now. Uh, and just so you see the other, uh, oh yeah, no, let's quickly do this. Okay, so it's set um, cat, comma, um, Alfie, I oh, know, it will just, will that work? 
nested, and we should be able to go um, Alfie. <laughs> yes, that is the friend of one of my friend's cats. No, so that's the name of one of my friend's cats. Um, anyway, that's fine. That's enough cats. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. And now, get category cat. Cool. So, let's just quickly test that and we'll see if we have some cats. Um, oh, this is going to error, hopefully. Now, the reason why is I haven't created any templates yet. There we go. Could not find file cat. Um, so, let's go and create that. Um, so, we're going to go cat.template. And uh, if we go in here, has this come out the way I wanted it to? No. Okay, so so what we'll do in here, um, I need to fix this at some point, but we'll just go oink, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now if we come back over here, we have some cats. So now if we go in here, we can go boink, boink, boink. And if I do that, and we're going to say, um, I'm an idiot. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. We'll work with this. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. So we're going to say, um, okay, and we'll save that. And so then we come back here. Dang, uh, it was line, if I remember rightly. There we go. Okay. So we now have that, but we don't have the more and less ones. So now let's um, let's come out, and we're going to copy cat, and we're going to make it more dot template, and then we're going to do the same thing less. Okay. So now let's go and edit the cat more and we're going to put in here um, and I think that was key it's been a while since I've done that there we go so you see if I put in more it does that and now let's go and do it the other way around so if we come out and we're going to go less okay and ah so I have a typo so if we come out and let's have a look um, feature And yeah, I can see it right there. So we'll do that. And now if we come back here and go re install. Now we do cat less. And there we go. I think this video is getting quite long enough, so I'm not going to do the um, uh, the manipulate 
and the input uh, versions because they're exactly the same. Um, but yeah, if you uh, have any questions, just put them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them.